Ex Proud Boys leader uh, Enrique Tarrio has officially been convicted of seditious conspiracy for his role in orchestrating the Proud Boys involvement of the Capitol riots on January 6th. So the charge does carry a possible 20 years in prison. We don't know what the judge is going to decide in the sentencing, but a jury in Washington DC heard from dozens of witnesses over more than three months. So this was a lengthy trial to say the least. Now Tario actually wasn't there on the day of the Capitol riots. He was someplace else because he had been arrested two days earlier in an entirely separate case and was ordered to stay away from Washington DC. But prosecutors argued in the trial that Tario was very much involved in the planning leading up to the Capitol riots that took place. Tario was also a top target of what has become the largest Justice Department investigation in American history. And that's according to the Associated Press's reporting. He led the neo-fascist group known as the known for their street fights and all of that. Um, uh, to basically go to Trump's rally and then later, you know, barge into the Capitol and do what they did. So, uh, according to the AP's reporting, as Proud Boys swarmed the Capitol, Tario cheered them, uh, cheered them on from afar, writing on social media, "Do what must be done." In a Proud Boys encrypted group chat later that day, someone asked what they should do next, and Tario responded, "Do it again." Make no mistake, Tario wrote in another message, we did this, oops. And that didn't play out so well for him in the trial, even though he later started to cooperate with the authorities in basically ratting out his friends <laughs> and getting them in trouble as well, which I'm pretty grateful for. I'm yeah. glad he did that. So two things about this, one is that line is gold for a prosecutor. Make no mistake, we did this. Well, hard to come back from that, brother. Yep. Okay. So um, now the second part of this is, at some point, his defense attorney started to throw Donald Trump under the bus, and he's like, "Look, he told us to do it. He said, literally on the debate stage, the whole country heard it. Uh, for, for the Proud Boys, stand by, right? And so they stood by, and they got ready, and they thought that they were Trump's army. And the lawyer is not wrong about that. That's all of that is absolutely true." And so, and you, and they have the messages that they shared between each other, and they really thought they were Trump's army. And then when they got arrested for sedition, do you know how much Trump helped them? Zero. Zero. Nothing. Not. He raised over two hundred million dollars for a legal defense fund and didn't give them a dime. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, come on, suckers and losers, come fight for me, try to overthrow democracy. Oh, later when he's facing up to 20 years in prison. Yeah. When you're facing 20 years in prison, you know what I'm gonna do for you? Nothing, you're an idiot, I used you. And yet all these suckers still go along with Donald Trump. Well, yes and no, right? Because remember, when Trump was set to be indicted by Alvin Bragg, he urged his supporters to basically to protest, but we know what that means when Trump says it, right? Mm -hmm. To protest in front of the prosecutor's office. And they didn't. And I think it's because of the fact that he refused to offer any help or support after all these people, hundreds of people ended up getting arrested for their part on January 6th. And dozens of them have already been convicted for the crimes they committed. I do wanna just quickly give you the argument from Tario's lawyer, his name is Naib Hassan. He said this. It was Donald Trump's words, it was his motivation, it was his anger that caused what occurred on January 6th in your beautiful and amazing city. It was not Enrique Tario. They want to use Enrique Tario as a scapegoat for Donald J. Trump and those in power. Well, that argument did not work and Tario got convicted anyway. But I do think that that mindset has seeped into the minds of Trump supporters, which is why they didn't take the bait when he urged them to protest. Right, but those are among the most hardcore guys who a lot of whom already got arrested. Um, but it's, Trump is still incredibly popular in the right wing. Definitely, not, yeah. Not one person, it seems, well, that's not fair. We just told you the people that did notice, but not very many people have noticed that, uh, that Trump didn't help his most hardcore supporters at all. 
He just left them out there to dry. Now, if you're thinking, because a lot of the establishment people have no idea what the right wing actually thinks, and and they think, oh, Trump can't possibly win. They still believe in they fantasies really do. like that. So if you think, well, you know, Donald Trump didn't want to be associated with the January 6th people because that was an act of sedition. Now it's been people have been convicted, including the head of the Oath Keepers, Stuart Rhodes, and this is a. It basically treason against the country. So Donald Trump probably doesn't want to be associated with that. No, he whenever he sees them, he hugs them. He plays videos before his uh, gatherings, uh, celebrating the January 6 guys. Brian Kilmeade the other day on Fox News said it was disgusting how much Donald Trump was wrapping himself around the January 6 uh, uh, rioters, right? The people who committed violence, people were killed, etc. But he's only doing that rhetorically because mm-hmm. he just wants to take further advantage of them. But he has, again, not helped at all as these guys might go to prison for decades and he didn't lift a finger to help them. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.